In this video, we're going to look at function notation again, but this time our function is gx and it's equal to 2x squared. But the same as before. So for g of 4, first I would want to write out my function. And then I replace, in this case, the x's with 4, because it wants g of 4. So I'm going to get g of 4 is equal to 2 times 4 squared. Now, bod mass tells me that I do the squaring before the multiplying. So this becomes 2 times 16. So g of 4 is 32. Let's try uh, g of negative 2. So first write out my function. And then replace the x's with negative 2. So 2 times negative 2 squared. Again, I must do my powers before I do my multiplying. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Remember, if you square anything, it's always positive. So g of negative 2 is 8. Then we've got g of x. Again, write out my thing. Now I'm going to put g of d. So I replace all the x's with d's this time. So it become 2 times d squared. Now, if I square d, it's d squared. So g of d is just 2 d squared. The last one is g of 5c. So first, let's write down g of x, my original function, 2x squared. Let's put in 5c. And we're going to do 2 times 5c all squared. Because remember, I replace all x's with 5c. So I'm going to square um, 5c first. Well, if you remember, that just means 2 times 5c times itself, 5c. Let's give myself a little bit more space. So what have I got here? I've got 2 times 5 times 5. Well, 2 times 5 is 10, times another 5 is 50. And I have c times c, so that's c squared. So g of 5c is 50c squared.